You're listening to the Fairies and Folklore Podcast by Renal. I'm dark fantasy author Renal Janssen von With nearly a decade of digging around in dusty folklore books, researching creatures of imagination that ignited my curiosity, I'm here to share the folklore in a nutshell and how I reimagined it for my writing in An Origin of the Fae. This is the Fairies and Folklore Podcast. Hi, I'm your host, Rinal Jansa von Vieren. You can just call me Rinal. In today's episode, we're continuing our exploration of the Fae realm. This episode is brought to you by my Dark Court Sisters book series, available in ebook, paperback, and audiobook. Three Sisters, Three Destinies, Three Ways to Destroy the World. Go to RinaldaMythmaker.com forward slash Dark Old Sister Series for more. You can now support my time in producing the podcast, researching, writing and everything else involved by buying me a coffee. This can be a once-off thing or you can buy me coffee again in the future at your discretion. Go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Renal to support me. We are continuing our exploration of solitary fae. Today's fairy, Duergar. Folklore in a nutshell by Renal. Duergar can refer to the race of dwarfs in Norse mythology or the Simon side dwarfs. In Germanic mythology, dwarfs are small human shaped beings, sometimes short and ugly, that dwell in mountains and in the earth. They are usually associated with mining, smithing and crafting. The Simonside Dwarfs are a race of dwarfs associated with the Simonside Hills in northern England. They apparently delight in leading travellers astray in the manner of the Will of the Wisp. Mentioned in newspapers, the Morpeth Gazette, 1889, and books, The Duergo and Folk Tales of the North County by F. Grice in 1944, and Legends and Folklore of Northumbria, 1930. These menacing dwarves are led by one known as Rory. In Norse mythology, Dwergar are entities deriving from rocks and earth. They are known for their craft, metalwork, wisdom and greed. They are described as having corpse pale skin and jet black hair. And now for my interpretation of the Fae, in an origin of the Fae, Duergar. Duergar is interchangeable with dwarves, not dwarfs, depending who in the fairy realm you are talking to. For most, Duergar means that huge dwarves have arrived, ready to conquer. They are not part of either the Seelie or Unseelie courts, they are feared nonetheless by most fae. Duergar are as tall as short humans. They have rough beards, big muscles, sturdy bodies and hands that can crush skulls and create intricate metal designs in equal measure. Depending on from where they hail, Duergar have skin tones ranging from snowy white to ebony brown. Most Duergar generally keep to themselves, playing with gems and metal yielded by the earth, though there are those who have excess of greed. It had led them to dig extremely deep into the earth nearly to the dungeon Tartarus, where evil immortal creatures are kept prisoner. Some Duergar have gone to work for Dachda in the underworld. Here they have unlimited access to the treasures the earth holds. They work as bodyguards and general servants to Dachda. All Duergar are extremely gifted where it comes to working with gems and metal. The objects they create thereof is renowned. They are also known for their strength and magical powers. Those who prefer to conquer, give in to their greed, do not have qualms about augmenting their powers with dark objects. They are the worst of their race. Those who cross the Dark King through their greed, by say almost opening Tartarus, become part of the unseen Unseelie and lose all they had as Duegor, their culture, homes, personality, etc. It's a fate worse than death. As a little bonus, Let's look at this fairy translated to Afrikaans, Dwarg, Dwarge. 
I hope that you've enjoyed this episode of the Fairies and Folklore podcast and that you've learned something new about fairy. Remember that you can get a transcript of this episode in the description. If you're new to the podcast, why not go and grab your free copy of Unseen, the second book in the fairy tale series, on my website, renowthemythmaker.com. Loads of folklore, magic and danger await. Take care.